Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Ron Music, straight out of Houston, Texas, and you're watching The Real Deal with Akia. H-Town, stand up. Man, it's crazy that, uh, quick story. So I'm on my Insta, I'm at a job meeting, and, uh, I get a notification on my phone, mm -hmm. and... I seen Rome. I said, "Was it Rome music?" Yeah, I looked. I didn't. I really didn't know what it was. <laughs> I was telling her when we was, when you was gone. I was like, "Man, I didn't even know who it was at first. And I seen like a long paragraph. And I seen Isaiah Carey. He yeah, was rapping yeah. on. It. I said, "Who's who's this guy?" I didn't know who he, I didn't know who he was. I looked, and then I'm like, "Oh, I was. I felt honored because I was getting. I, I was tagged with like a lot of people from like ABC, yeah, yeah. Fox, nine seven nine, all these other people." So I was, I felt, I felt honored. So that's why I hit you up. Yeah. I'm like, man, you gonna tag me in this? I, you know, I appreciate that. So I'm gonna show love back in return for sure to get you on the show. That's all I love, man. Exactly. I'm talking about Rome official. What Rome. Up? That's your name on. Uh, that's your music. That's your rap name. Uh, I mean, yeah, kinda. You can just say Rome. Rome straight. Rome. Yeah. You know? So what? Uh, how did how did Texans thing come about? How did Texan Astros theme song come about? Uh, well, Texans goes kind of a, a ways back. Uh. Uh, all the way back to 2012, honestly. Uh, yeah. I was a freshman at Texas State University, and uh, at the time, me and my homeboy from Houston, we were, uh, or he had hit me up and was like, man, we just made the playoffs, you know. Mm -hmm. That was the first year we clinched uh, the AFC South or whatever and when we when we beat the Bengals, and uh, he was like, you know, I think at the time, I wasn't, like, seriously rapping at the time. I, it was, uh, it, it was kind of like a hobby for me, but my boy... He at the time he was um, he was serious with it and stuff and he was like we should make a Texan song, you know and uh, it'll start popping off like he and that's what he told me and I was like all right well let me at the time it was a hobby for me so I was just like you know whatever I, what I got to lose so I went ahead we went ahead and did that and we got some love from like Facebook fan pages yeah. for the Texans and all that stuff like that and we scraped up a couple of 10,000, 15,000 views in a night and stuff. So that was pretty cool. We got, for me at the time, that was huge. It was like, oh, man, I ain't never done anything like this, mama. You know, <laughs> like I was, I was really, I was, I was just excited in general. And, um, but uh, that was the first thing we did. That song was called Chasing That Ring. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, at the, honestly, uh, I guess the next year, um, that was when our season went to crap. That was a year that, uh, yeah. 2013 when I think Matt Schaub led the NFL in interceptions and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So we had made a song. It was like Chasing That Ring Part 2. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it never it never dropped. It never, it it never, never quite got yeah, to where yeah. you wanted to well, go. Well, it never, like, we had made, and we're just waiting for the right time because we, that yeah. was, I think we started this season off, like, 0-3, and, yeah. and me and my, my boy was like, yeah, maybe we should wait until they start winning some. Yeah. And, if, and if not... Let's just not drop that. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that, still this day, no one's ever really heard it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, and then after that, kind of, uh, it took took a break, and we're just, we didn't we didn't do a, a song in 2014. But 2015 was when it all came back in full circle and started for me. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I made a song called You're the Texans and made a video for it and everything. And uh, the thing about me is I always put the video and the music, I dropped the music right before the season opener. Yeah. You know, because uh, you know, a lot of people want to call you a bandwagon fan when they, when they make the playoffs or whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to be known as that. I wanted to show that I was a diehard Texan fan, which I am, and uh, do it and make the song and put the visual out there before the season even started, you know, just mm -hmm. to show that I've been riding with the Texans. And, uh, yeah, so 2015 we shot that music video and – then 20, uh, 2016, we made Legendary, shot that music video. And I'm doing this while being a student athlete in college. and At Texas State. Yeah, yeah. Texas State. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was hard. It's hard, man. Uh, but like like both of those videos, people will never know. Both of those videos were shot up there. They were not even shot in Houston. We were rapping about a te Houston Texan song. In San Marcos. In San Marcos, yeah, man. And I'm talking about people in the video. Like yeah. this is how much we grinded. Pe and people that supported me, my friends and stuff, people in the video were not even, some of the dudes were not even Texan fans, bro. Like, oh, like I, I I had to go, like, we had to start from from square one. I had to go to the 
at like the NFL stores and stuff like that and go to lids and buy these dudes some jerseys and some shirts like yeah, yeah you using my uh refund money from the school to do that. That was yeah. real though. Using yeah. like using your own uh, money I to had, buy like Yeah, I had the vision, man, and I um yeah, man, and so we like the the year of the Texans in 2015, we shot that literally in the Texas State football field we shot it there and then we shot uh the other scenes in my apartment literally and i just decorated the apartment full of like texan stuff yeah so and so this day nobody ever said anything like oh man i mean it has whatever close to fifty thousand views and it never nobody ever said hey man well like are you in your house or apartment like nah so we made it look good yeah and uh yeah man and 2016 was at a bar in san antonio where that was a little different because one of the they have there's a facebook page um, full of, and it's like a San Antonio, Houston, Texan fan page. So they yeah. have like, uh, they they link up every Sunday at this bar in San Antonio and watch the games all together. The, these these Texan fans that live in yeah. San Antonio. Mm-hmm. So they had asked, "Hey man, you should come. Uh, you should come do your video here. That'd be cool." And we shot Legendary there, and that Legendary was the the song that really. Like I got a lot of fans from Year of the Texans, but Legendary was the one, the visual that was like, "Oh man." Yeah. Like we we're really rocking with this and all that stuff and um, and uh, yeah I even got at the time I put the music video on uh, this this YouTube channel called Buff Nerds which is I don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's it has like six hundred thousand subscribers and and uh, the guy who r- runs it is Jacob Owens he's he's done uh he's done video work for uh, like he he's like I don't know if you ever heard of the rapper Futuristic no. but he's He's his main guy. Have you ever heard of Kyle? Kyle? Yeah. Yeah. He's like one of his guys too. Like that just start like his main uh, videographer. So he has his own channel and stuff. You, a lot of Kyle's and futuristic videos are on that on that on that channel. And I reached out to Jacob Owens and I was like, Hey man, is there any way you could put this this Texan song? It does have potential, you know. It, you know, if they end up making the playoffs or go to the Super Bowl, because that I really wanted to capitalize on because 2016 was when Houston was. Um, hosting the super bowl because i was yeah. like bro if the texans were to go all the way and 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 uh it'll end up being in houston the super bowl and the song yeah dude, it would have really oh, it would have really crazy. smashed yeah it would have been nuts and I, I all i could see was my song just blowing up so yeah. uh i think he kind of saw that same vision he was like you know why not and he gave me he gave me my price and i was like whatever let's let's upload this and yeah we got like thirty thousand, forty thousand views in a day and stuff it was cool and uh and then I think it's it's creeping up on a, a 100k right now. So yeah. And then um, so yeah, and I got a, a lot of like a lot of my fan base is from that song, Legendary. And then uh, pretty much um, the, all my fans were they were just killing me this year. They were like, man, you got to make one for 2017, blah blah blah. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not gonna lie. After after I dropped Legendary. It was it, it was a lot that went into that video and a lot to make that happen. Uh-huh. Nobody, a lot of the fans don't really know what goes behind like the scenes with when it just comes to like the visuals and how much it costs just to like promo everything like Facebook yeah. ads, Instagram ads, everything like like I, I'm not to that level where I can just drop it and be like oh I'm gonna watch it blow up. No, yeah, it, yeah it's, exactly. It's, it's just it's still, I got, the process yeah, still. Going I gotta on. keep grinding, man, and uh, and that'll never stop. I think even if I when I do make it that you know i'll never stop grinding like that um yeah but uh yeah man 2017 pretty much well what was cool about this was i was at the time like in the summer of 2017 i was kind of like ah, dude i was kind of torn i was like should i do this yeah. texan song i don't know it's just kind of because at the time i was kind of torn between like do i want to be just known like as this like guy that makes anthems for the yeah. texans and stuff because i have my my other music out there and that gets attention too but i'm just saying like i just i didn't know if i wanted to be that guy but you know at the end of the day i know my fans are loyal and stuff and they're going to be riding with me and yeah. um and my music is dope in general so i was like anything i can do would be a good marketing strategy to bring more attention and more traffic towards my pages my social media all that stuff yeah. so uh yeah pretty much Hurricane Harvey hit, and uh, that that sucked. Yeah, it slowed, sucked slowed uh, a lot of things. Though. Yeah, but to be honest, that's what really motivated the song. It was like, dude, people are down right now. You know, even though mm-hmm. it was a beautiful thing to see everybody together and rise up and stuff in Houston mm-hmm. and, and take care of each other, it was like the time to, you know, let's make this anthem and um, 
let's just let's just make it it can it could possibly not even just be for the Texans it could just be the city of, the anthem for the city of Houston just rising up and uh for all the naysayers out there the people that hate on the city or hate on the sports teams or whatever um you know just to show them that you know that we're strong we're Houston strong and that we can bounce back from anything and that's pretty much what inspired the song shut them up and yeah. uh, we shot that video literally uh it was on Allen Parkway, right? Like right where you can see the the view of the city behind us, and we shot that right after the the hurricane hit. So like once it was a couple of days, it took a couple of like I think a, a week for like that area to kind of clear up, but they were still flooding. Mm-hmm. So we were like just trying our best to not really uh like get super dirty and stuff because the mud, there were, like the dirt that's there under that like the, what do you call it, a plaza, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah, it uh. It was all muddy and all that stuff, and I, I had all white on like an idiot, but it, oh, it didn't man. matter. It's whatever. Uh, it was it was worth it. We had fun, man. We shot that one scene, and we were just – at that time, we were just really crunching to try to get this before the season started. Yeah. And we got the visual out. I think we dropped it on September 9th. Uh, yeah. the, the, I think that was a Sunday, and it was the first game of the season. And, uh, yeah, uh, the single, it dropped, and it was nice. You know the vis- the music video was nice, but we didn't have the greatest start. That was when yep. we got whooped by the Jaguars oh. at the season opener, where everybody it looked like the Texans were just trying to play. I call that the extended preseason because Watson didn't play. Yeah, it, well, yeah, that's that week four. Remember we had week four preseason. Yeah, because yeah. of the Har- cause of Harvey, that was our week four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember, yeah. We were supposed to play the Cowboys, right? That's, that's uh uh-huh. yeah. But uh, yeah, man, so we dropped that, and it it was good when it came to my song. But I was kind of like, oh what like i hope we don't suck this bad like we because because from what we've known for the past couple of years jaguars weren't always the best team out there you know what i mean yeah. but it's changing you know jaguars are looking good the titans are looking good and they whooped up on us and i was just kind of like at the, uh, you know in the back i can't I can't lie man in the back of your head you're kind of like oh man did i make a you know did i make a mistake making this song oh. the song is called shut them up and we just got 40 points put on us like oh yeah, we man. got shut up <laughs> yeah yeah for sure Yo. so uh but man we just just kept believing and I, I think the next week that's when we uh they made they made that well I, what looked promising was at the end of the jaguars game they put watson in and you could just see the flow of the offense was completely different i was Even like the energy was different yeah. oh yeah everybody in the stadium was just going crazy and uh and yeah the next game, uh, they played the Bengals or whatever, and it was a short week on a Thursday night or whatever. It's crazy how I remember that. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey, I remember it, too. I got you. Watson <laughs> was starting, and it was like his birthday, and everything was a big deal. Everybody was like, I don't know if this rookie can handle this short week and blah, blah, blah. And dude, ends up, dude ends up scrambling for 70 yards or something like that to end the half, and it you just knew right then. It was like, this we is the some. this and is the face. This is the we seen the Wingling game. Yeah, yeah. That that was definitely. that was that put the stamp on it. Like, yo, this man's for real. Yeah, and he in New England. The, yeah, and hanging with Tom Brady and all that. If, if not even th- having better stats than Tom Brady, I was like, he outplayed Brady. Yeah. If it was for, if it was for O'Brien's uh, play calling, we would have won that game yeah. in Seattle. Yeah. I think I think the problem with the the Seattle and the New England game was. It's just O'Brien has a tendency at the late at the late part of the the fourth quarter to be too conservative, man. I just yeah. think I'm just like I know definitely the Seattle game, like they could have made those first downs, man. But you running the, you're running the giving the ball to Miller three times in a row to the right, like come, come on, on man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's their job, man. I just it's hard. It's hard as a Texans fan, but uh. Yeah, man. So O'Brien, pretty, O'Brien is he's good the first fifty seven minutes of a game. The last three he's not. He's a good fifty seven right? minute coach. Because yeah, in the second third quarter, I'm like, okay, coach, I see you. Like, yep, are you yep. calling some good play calling? And and I think he was doing. He had a great scheme for what uh, fit Deshaun's, uh, you know, uh, his type of um, skill set. You know what yep. I mean? So man, uh, but definitely, I think the most important thing that we've seen this year is just. The fact that we have a future or the face of the franchise, which I think is Sean Watson, and we have uh, our, our quarterback for the future, yeah, for the just, long term. It just sucked when he went down. The day after the Astros World Series, uh, we was all celebrating, and then all of a sudden, bam, that happens. Yeah, My first mind was thinking Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about you, but yeah. I was thinking Kaepernick. And what I seen with Bob McNeil, what he said, I was like, that's the – 
That's it, the perfect time to get them. Yeah, Regret yeah. what you everything you, you said. Get Kaepernick, and we're not gonna forget what you said. Yeah, but, but if you had like, any chance of redeeming yourself, it'd be like, oh. you know, go for, go for that guy. And exactly. Then, and then he said that's like, oh, but then everything was just yeah. like, come on, man. But even like besides the protesting and all that stuff, I think he uh, Kaepernick was the only guy that had that kind of sort of like that um that skill set that Deshaun had and I mm-hmm. think he could have fitted very well with the offense we were running at the time. Yep. We went we went from we just went from being this super fast, just even college looking offense to to slow mo, dude. It was just You like cupcakes. Yes, man. Like, we're playing the Colts offense. and we couldn't they're like the last I think they're like the thirty first in the league defense wise that we this <laughs> We couldn't even score a we touchdown, bro. Close. Yes, man. And that then, was, that and, was and then when we finally scored a touchdown, it wasn't even anything like, like it wasn't even like the greatest pass from Savage. It's just Deon, DeAndre making a good play in double coverage, catching on some, snagging on him in the end zone. And I'm just like, man. Oh. And then, and then even at the end of the game, if you wanted to have some kind of hope in Savage, it was like, okay, you know, he has a chance to win the game. Let's, let, let, you know, let's get behind him. And then he fumbles. He fumbles, man. How he started the game. You know what I mean? It's just like, golly, I don't know how many chances you can keep. This guy's been in the system for three years. Yep. It's just like, damn, man. And then and then, yeah, of course, we can't, you know, we can't forget to talk about, you know, JJ Watt and Whitney oh, Merciless man. and those guys going down. That hurt just before. as much. Yeah. Especially when JJ made that comeback. We're excited to see him back for the rest of the season. And and then he literally lasted almost only one more game than he did the year before. And I was just like, I, I, I can only imagine how he feels, though, man. That's got to be devastating, like, every yep. year. And and for for him to come where, where he's came from, like, just being on the top dog, dude, like 20-plus tw- sacks in a year. Man. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's nuts. Now, it's, it's, it's kind of scary now. I don't think he's going to be the same J.J. Watt. Yeah. I don't think he will be. So let's talk about the Astros because you made that theme song. Yeah, yeah. And that's who was playing on Isaiah Carey, Isaiah's show. Yeah, for sure, man. Shout so, out to Isaiah Carey, man. For Isaiah Carey, yeah. So you played, you 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 sung that song. It's Earn History, right? Yeah. Earn History. All right. So Earn History was, it was kind of a, it's kind of like a gamble type of situation. Very risky for me as an artist. Like, I, uh, you know, I've o- just to get it clear, like I've always, um, supported the Astros always was I just wasn't always the biggest baseball fan you know what I'm saying I couldn't mm-hmm. be watching it throughout the whole season you know what I mean like and keeping up with every game but yep. I'm always behind the Astros of course they're my team and everything and uh, when the playoffs came I watched all the games and everything and I was just seeing what they're doing I was just like dude these boys are competing man when they went through the first two series with without a uh, uh without losing a game and I was like yeah. dang and then they played the Yankees and yeah, the the Yankees kind of gave them a little run for their money and everything, but the way, the way these boys competed was unreal. And just coming from like from an athlete standpoint, man, I I know what that's like. And oh yeah, and you know there is plenty of times, man, where these guys are literally at the bat, everybody's everybody or on plate on the plate, and everybody's just looking at them, and and um they it's either you know. You go big or go home. We were down some games four to zero, six to zero, and somehow we're making these comebacks. Unbelievable! It's almost like movie type of stuff. Yeah, man. like unreal. the World Series. That yeah. I think it was Game Five. Yeah, that was man, unreal. That game was yeah. unreal. My family, my girl, everybody, we're all at the house just staying up. What was it? We 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 went home like at one thirty in the morning too. <laughs> it was unreal, man. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but how it all started was uh pretty much. You know, I've always supported all the sports teams, Houston sports teams, like on my social media and everything. And people know me for my Texan songs and everything. And, you know, uh, my some of my closest friends and my girl were telling me, like, hey, you know, you ever thought about making an Astro song if they end up, you know, going to the World Series and stuff? And I was yeah. like, I mean, I never really, like, thought about it. I was just yeah. kind of just a fan. I was always going to support them. But I was like, that would be kind of dope. But I don't know. I don't know how that would sound. I don't know. Just because I'm not the most intelligent when it comes to baseball. I don't really or knowledgeable when it comes to baseball. So I didn't want to mm. I didn't want it, it the song to sound corny or whatever it was, but it ended up a uh, it ended up working out differently. Working out pretty good actually. And um anyway, we pretty much right when we beat the Yankees, the clinch to 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 go into the World Series, mm-hmm. it was right there. I, I went ahead, I was like, I'm a, I'm gonna leave it up to the people. And yeah. I posted on all my social media. I said, 
All right, right now, comment below if you want to hear a Rome uh, Astros anthem yep. for the World Series. And, dude, like, when I said my phone Everybody's. my phone was just buzzing, I had to just leave it there. My my girl was in, I remember we were we were we were going to Midtown to celebrate and uh and she was just like your phone over there like just it already, like on my Facebook already had like five hundred comments on my Instagram, yeah. like people just all in my DMs like you gotta go now, you gotta do it now, bro. The texting songs are always been hard. I can yeah. only mas- imagine what this is gonna do for the city and everything, yeah. especially we're in the World Series and I was like, Screw it. Let's do it. But I was like, at the time, I was kind of scared because I was like, yeah. I told my girl, I was like, I mean, the game starts, the game, I think it was Tuesday, right? It was it was Tuesday. And at that time, it was Saturday already. I was like, how? I got to make this song and try to get it on all these platforms on iTunes, Spotify, all this stuff by Tuesday. How the hell am I going to do that? Yeah. And um, because that's a. That's how I like to do it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to drop it in the middle of the World Series. I wanted to drop it before to show before. these people like I'm riding with them, man. Yeah. Like even if they lose, I'm proud of these boys. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And uh, yeah, I, that was the whole point of the anthem. Was called. I, I loved what what the slogan was for the World Series was earn history or the whole playoffs were, were earn history. I like that. I yeah. like that saying. And I was just like, that's what the song needs to be about. These yeah. boys need to earn history, and it was the first time ever. And in history, in, in Houston, that we won, won the World Series. It was crazy. And uh, the fact that I predicted that we were going to win the World Series along with Altuve being the MVP, I said that in, in, the, song in the song and everything. Yeah. All that came into fruition, man. And that's, that's unbel- like, it's unbelievable. I never, like, I, when we won, it was kind of like I was dreaming. I was like, dude, I really wrote a song about all this that literally just happened. Yeah. And then even yesterday when they said Altuve was MVP, I was like, yeah. Holy, like that's nuts. Like I don't even know if that's ever really been done before in like in general, but definitely not here in Houston. I've never seen anybody like make an anthem for the team predicting mm-hmm. what was going to happen and not just winning a game, not just winning a playoff game, winning the damn world championship. Yeah. Like that's unbelievable. And I I you know, that's why like people seen on my social media that I've been Low key, kind of salty of how, like, kind of um, how you've been treated and everything. Recognition I've been getting from like the city, yeah, the from media outlets. Yeah, because like I was telling you earlier, I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist that literally just puts out a song. Just oh well, I hope I hope I hope it, people see it. You know, no, I'm gonna make them see it. Like I, there's so many things to go behind the scenes. I do my research. I'm, I'm trying to see who's on the Astro staff, who's on the Texan staff, who can I. Who can I? Uh, whose emails can I get? I need to. I need to send these emails to Houston Live TV, Houston Magazine, all these different media exposures for, from Houston and stuff, showing love. Even ESPNs, you know mm-hmm. the the sports centers, the anchors on the sports center, uh, you know on the on those on the ESPN shows and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith going far to everybody, man, to even like Ellen and all this. I'm just thinking in my head. I'm like emailing all these different people, yeah. and and yeah. Uh, my, uh, I just, I just, I couldn't, couldn't believe, man, that after we won, and I, I'm not, and I'm not, I was super excited no matter what. We won the World Series. It's amazing feeling. It's amazing. It's amazing for the city. But mm-hmm. you know, just to think, like, my vision came true, and it was, but it, like, the song itself didn't get the success that I believe it should have gotten. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got love, and I got a lot of, uh, a lot of new followers and a lot of new friends, or uh, not friends, but fans from it and um and, i mean that's a blessing and i got like you know, opportunities to perform like on isaiah's show and everything yeah. that was great but i was just like man i could just see myself like that's the type of story i would love to tell you know on on uh you know somebody's somebody's show that's big performing f- for like you know ellen or good or good morning america type of stuff because mm-hmm. it's like dude that doesn't it doesn't happen often you don't just predict what's going to happen in the world series and 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 that comes into fruition on top, yeah. on top of like the. I, I guaranteed, if we were to lose, bro, that's I would have been getting blown up for the yeah. wrong reason. Like, I remember you said you was getting bashed. Uh, 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 oh yeah, we didn't even talked about that. Uh, when I when I was I told you right when I asked people do do, do they want to hear the you know the uh, uh, the Astros anthem they were like yeah yeah and of course that's majority of all that's my fan base but. You know, uh, people tend to forget how superstitious baseball is and, oh. and baseball fans. And and the day that I dropped it, 
the day that I dropped it. We hadn't even played. We haven't even stepped on the field yet to play. Yeah. Right when I dropped it, people were just left and right in my comments and my DMs. Bro, what are you doing? Like, you need to take that down right now. Like, yeah. straight up in my emails. Like, you're you're like people are going to come for you. Like, don't ruin, don't end your career like this. Don't. Like, God. yeah, it was crazy. And I'm not going to lie. Like, you, you know, and when you're in this industry, you have to tell yourself, like, and you can't really listen to them. You just got to believe in your vision oh, and yeah. the people behind you. But, oh, yeah. dude, I'm only human, dude. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm like asking my girl, like, did I make a mistake? Should I, like, not do this? Like, because yeah. I, what if they do lose? Like, huh? but I was just, at the end of the day, I was like, man, I made a decision. I'm sticking to it. I'm behind my team. So was you nervous game seven? <laughs> Don't play me like that. Uh, I, I think I was more nervous after game, like, right after game six. I was just kind of like, damn. Like, I felt because that game six is game six is when Verlander was on the mound and we didn't win. And yeah, I was kinda, game six. yeah, and I was kind of like, damn. <sighs> but I I knew like at the beginning, right? The first where, inning, we the scored. first inning, yeah. I was like, bro, it's over. Like uh-huh. I just, I was like, these boys came to compete just like they did in game five. Just like, yeah. yeah, I was just like these these guys are, com- are came to compete and they're gonna make history. Like straight up. Did you watch that mini mate uh, game seven? Oh no no no! We're at the house. Man, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah, I, I almost I, didn't go. I heard, I heard it was nuts though. Man, yeah, yeah. But we did like literally right after we won. You that went was out there? That, yes, bro. I went out there. Oh my it, God, was, it was, it was, it was unbelievable. Like just, it was just so nice to see like the yeah. city, everybody loving like each other, having love. Like everybody was just embracing each other. It didn't matter. There's rallies in the streets, and that was the cool thing. Was that people? There were some people that uh, that noticed me from the Isaiah show. They were like, "Oh, that's him!" And yeah. I was like spinning for people like live on the on the like on the streets down yeah. there. You know, it, that was dope. And then there was other people that just recognized me and wanted to take pictures and all stuff. It was cool, man. And what what I liked about it was just showing, just to show people that I'm like I'm not just behind the scenes and oh look look me up on social media and everything. Nah, dude, like I'm out there. Ex- I'm a fan, just like y'all. Like I'm out here, like just right there enjoying the moment mm-hmm. our our city just witnessed history and yeah. uh it was a blessing to be yeah, a part of it and all that stuff I, yeah i was there i remember i had the video i'm gonna show you after the show i had the video where we was at uh game seven so we watched it inside of minute of course uh-huh. man when i tell you when that second out came we, we needed one more out yeah man that pop when we got that last out was so loud, bro. Everybody, <laughs> I screamed in the video. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. And once that, once they got that, he threw it to uh, the first baseman. Yeah, everybody started going crazy. People was walk, r- people dump beer on each other. Yeah, because it's one, because it's one thing like thinking like, okay, what if, like, what if this happens? Yeah, and then when it actually does, it's like, we always see it on TV. Yeah, you're like, it always happens to some other team, but not my team. And then yeah. When you see it heaven into your Man. team, you're you're like where you grew up, where you were born, and and the fact of like what all that we've been through this year with the yes. Hurricane Harvey people and stuff. Crying. Yeah, people people still don't know like how much the city of Houston went through. Like I got got homeboys that are just like getting back into their house, like stuff like that, and. It's months later, man. It's unbelievable. Man, it um, was crazy. But yeah, it was just it was a, an amazing moment for the city, man. So I want I want I want to ask you this. I seen this on your Instagram. You say that the media outlet don't give you enough recognition. Mm-hmm. Why do you, do you know? Why do you why do you feel like that? Like why do you feel like they just not giving you the credit? What do you think it is? <sighs> to be honest, man, it's 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 hard to predict. You don't really know. Like uh, you can only just come up with like predictions and from what you've seen what from my perspective and everything i don't know i don't know if it's because uh the type of style that i have like when i rap i don't know because uh, obviously there's there's sports songs so in my head when you put an anthem out there you're gonna want it to be hype because i'm thinking i was a football player at one point you know I got my I got people in my family that are coaches and all that stuff. So I'm I'm all about I know what it takes to like fire up athletes, to fire up people, the fans and all that stuff. And I'm just thinking like you want the song to be strong and very aggressive. You know what I mean? And that's just the kind of guy I am. I think mm-hmm. I think uh mentally, emotionally I'm a very like just a, a aggressive guy. I don't I don't really I don't really, you know, uh hide my feelings and stuff. I'll put it out there. And um anyway, man, uh I just feel like I feel like maybe they don't like my approach, that type of sound. Maybe they want, like, when I say they, I'm talking about, like, 
I'm talking about the radio stations in in Houston, like mm. for the for the most part. But even like there's there's dude, like if you look at my emails, I've reached out to so many people that have the platforms to even to 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 just take my song to the next level. I mean, and and it, and it it's not even people that have like most some of these people. I have a way bigger platform than them, and I'm just like, bro, can y'all just like you help get the word out? Anything? It's just it's just crazy how much it really takes. Like you almost have to pay like pay everybody if to to do that work for you, man. Cause this, in this day and age, like nobody, I think low key, nobody wants to see you succeed. And yeah. I don't, and, and, it, but it, in, in my perspective, I'm thinking like, man, but this is like, it's not, Hey man, it's all about Rome. Like these are the songs for the, like the, the this teams, the, the, our city. city. Yeah. Like I, and I, I'm just mind baffled. Like, why wouldn't you want to play this? But yeah. what, what, what got me torn about, um, what killed me about earn history was the fact that I predicted it, in the song before the World Series started, literally predicted that Jose Altuve was going to be MVP and that we were going to be World Series champions. And like I said, that's a risky call because I guarantee it if we would have lost, dude, who would have known? I would have lost so many fr- fans, followers, all that stuff. People would have been just leaving more hate more than ever. Probably, I'm not saying it would have ruined my career, but there's a good chance that it would be like, you know, I- I'm not really rocking with that dude no more. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, And then when we win the World Series... You know, and you know, much respect to Paul Wall, straight up Houston legends. Like I've been, I grew up listening to those guys and everything. But you know, the dude drops World Series grills, and it's like, oh, that's the anthem. That's what everybody's rocking with. And it's because, I mean, yeah, he has a bigger platform and all that. But it's just like, why not help the person yeah, that's trying yeah. to come up? And on top of that, yeah. I like I said, like no disrespect to to him, but my song was actually about the team. I'm talking about all the players and everything. Like the chorus, all that stuff's about the city. But I talked about Hurricane Harvey. I talked about the like the players, what they do. That you know, Verlander's the best in the league. Dallas Keuchel, all that stuff. Just an actual thing. Yeah, yeah yes, exactly. bro. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about World Series like grills, bro. I'm not talking about grills. They're the same stuff I've heard these same cats talking about when I was in third grade, growing yeah. up listening. So you know what I'm saying? It's 2017, yeah. and I'm just felt. I, I feel like. Houston as a city, we need, in, in music, especially in the hip hop culture, need to, you know, evolve, bro. Like low yeah. key, I, I'm with it, bro. I love the old school stuff. You know what I'm, yeah. what I'm saying? I like the slow kind of vibe and everything. But it's like let's let's change it up. Let's have some new flavor and everything. And I think, yeah. I think that's why a lot of a lot of these big time artists, like you know, you talk about the Beyonces, the Travis Scotts, the, um, you know just even new cats like chill sammy and all them like they're moving out like they got out of the city because they needed they're gonna get that exposure somewhere else you think you need to move out the city would you ever move out the city yeah we when i graduated from texas state me and my girl were talking about going to la and i and to be honest what's kind of stopping the only thing that kind of stopped me was you know financial stuff Mm -hmm. and i'm just trying to uh i'm trying to grow i'm just trying to keep building my grant or my brand and uh and you know, get better financially where we can afford all that and everything. But uh, yeah. no, dude. I to be honest, I mean, I love this like my home, man. It's, I mean, it, I mean, it is my home, but it's just like I, it's hard thinking about leaving. Uh, but only I guess only time would tell. You know, uh, mm-hmm. it, the only thing that's it's hard for me right now is because I was doing all these texts and anthems and uh, or texts and anthems when I was at Texas State. So yeah. it's not like oh, I've always been in the city and I've been grinding here and I'm still getting no love. This was kind of like my first. First summer, first year, getting uh, like really trying to promote hard in the city and everything like yeah. that, and not really getting love. So I was just kind of, so that's why I can't really be like, uh, I can't just really like, you know, take my stuff and move somewhere else because in one year I didn't get no love or whatever. I feel like I just need to keep building my brand, keep grinding harder than ever, and um, yeah, dude, it's just gonna build itself. And um, uh, I got new music on the way and stuff. I got new. I got. I'm working on a new uh, album. Coming, yeah. coming let's talk out about next that. semester. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about. It. I know you do the, the theme songs as well, yeah. but let's talk about the music that you actually put out for sure for yourself. So, uh, so, um, all right. So people, people that know me, I, uh, I've literally, I've, I started rapping like in 2012, 20, 2011, mm-hmm. like senior year of high school. But it was more of like a hobby deal, you know what I mean? And then my school you went to. I went to Spring Woods. I don't know oh, okay. If you, okay, and then Spring Branch. Shout out to Spring Branch. Anyway, uh, yeah, and I made a, a, I guess I made a couple of songs and all that stuff. You know, just doing the traditional like, you know, uh, 
this is I'm just rapping this a hobby deal. My friend has a mic, you know, blah blah blah. And we'll do that. And we used an FL studio and all that. And uh, mm-hmm. then uh, you know, things got serious and I went to I went to college and uh a student athlete there and everything. Oh, I did bro. track and field at Texas State and um and I was on a big scholarship there, so I was just like uh, at first, it was like I gotta kind of put this music stuff to the side, I, uh, cause you know I gotta, I gotta compete and uh, compete and and produce numbers for the for the university and everything, cause I don't want to lose my scholarship, all that stuff. So and I want to do good in school and all that, cause uh, you know I just wanted to make my parents proud and do all that. And for sure. Pretty much, uh, I think it was like my sophomore year, 2013, was. Uh, was the part was the point of my life where I was just like I bought a mic and invested in myself mm-hmm. and I was like I need to start making music for real because yep. I've made a couple of songs and you know those I had people that are close to me that I knew wouldn't bullshit me they told me straight up like hey bro your voice needs to be heard dude like you got you you don't just spit like you know about nothing like you know pointless bars or whatever on on hard beats or anything like you you go hard and you and you have a great message you know and that's and uh they're like you, you need to be heard you need i think you need to keep running with this so 2013 was a starting point for me and uh, i just i've been grinding hard like ever since and um yeah man uh basically the the main project that really got me going was i dropped in uh, a free mixtape that had 21 tracks on it Mm-hmm. And that, that took forever. Twenty one tracks. And it was called The Fall of Rome Volume One. It dropped on Dad Piff. And that was I think twenty I think that was twenty fifteen that dropped. And I that's when my Instagram following started blowing up. Um like I literally grew I think in the year twenty fifteen and grew I had like thirty thousand followers in one year. Damn. It was nuts. I literally went from fifteen like I think I had fifteen hundred and a lot of those were just friends and people that I was like following. I was like, "Hey man, like my I was I mean, I was everywhere, dude, on Facebook just messaging people, "Hey man, can you listen to my music?" blah blah blah. You have to, man. It's it sucks. You're going to hate doing it, but it's like mm-hmm. all that stuff literally got me to where I'm at right now and um yeah, man, uh 2015 that 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 Piff mixtape was really what got me got me buzzing around people, got my fan base loyal and strong and stuff and then the next year I put out uh, another project was an EP called uh, uh, "A Lion Among Snakes," and then that was that was that was pretty good. It had like uh, I know it had like thirty thousand streams in the first week, like wow. and the streams like yeah, and all this all these without the help of media outlets. Oh yeah, yeah, no, dude, <laughs> it was it was this is yeah, straight me and the people. The people are the most important. Like I still believe that the money, the 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 power is not in the money or the dollar. The power's in the people, man. I really b- sure. believe that, and I'm behind that. And uh, yeah, man. Uh, and none of those projects, all those projects I was telling you about, like I didn't make any profit of it. I was just all about I need to get my stuff out there. I'm not. Just, I'm not in the position where I can just put my stuff out there and people are gonna buy it. Because I know in this day and age where people can just rip things off of YouTube and all like the people are cheap. They're not gonna. They're not gonna yeah. like unless they're a loyal fan and they've been rocking with you for a minute. So. Yeah, I dropped that, and then uh, I had another free mixtape, 2016, called Apparitions. Dropped that on uh, Spinrilla at Dat Piff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's it, right? Anywhere else? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was just talking about the Apparitions. But, yeah, that was and that was a, a big project for me. That had, like, 16 tracks, and I grew a uh, fan base. Uh, my, my fan base got a lot stronger from that. And that was because that was the same year that I dropped Legendary for the Texan song. So yeah. that album followed that song and people were like, oh, okay, this is dope, man. Yeah. And uh, I, I, had, uh, I had songs called, uh, I had this song called New Kings that, um, that still to this day is one of my favorite videos. And uh, yeah, it got a lot of, lot of exposure. I think it had like 20,000 views in uh, the first week. I and, seen that video you posted on Instagram. The, um, you just posted it, like a music video you had. You just posted it, like recent, like uh, was it the full? full yeah, plate? Texas, you was uh, you was at the house, then you was at Texas State. You had your uh, cap and gown on. Oh, oh, that's celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, yeah, it, that was a dope track. But yeah. going back to uh, going back to was it apparitions uh, or was it oh New Kings? New Kings was a single on Appar- on apparitions, the mixtape, mm-hmm. and uh, like I said, it's got a lot of exposure. And at the time, I went. At, I'm all about like marketing and how can I find my the best way to market myself as an artist and 
And I remember putting out like this dance challenge because at the time that was, I mean, it still is. At the time that was big on Instagram and all these social medias was like doing some kind of dance challenges towards people's songs and stuff. So I was yeah. like, let's make the new Kings challenge. And I had, I, I went ahead and messaged people that I, on Instagram that I saw like dancing and doing stuff like that on like musically or, or Triller, those, those, those dancing apps or whatever. And yeah, there was these two girls, there was these two girls from Germany that ended up doing this like choreography type of dance. To My song nope. started blowing up a lot from that. And uh, yeah, I just got a lot of good exposure like that. I had good singles on that song and, or, or that, that, that album. Mm -hmm. but um yeah my i think my best work is my recent work back in uh march of 20 uh, 2017 i dropped a uh, an ep called the outsider and this was my first official like ep album that was for sale and it was on all the all the on title spotify itunes yeah. apple music all that stuff had a album release party for it um shot a shot a couple visuals for it and everything and got got some some pretty good success from it man and uh just to finally get out there and have thousands of streams and spotify on spotify and just seeing people seeing that you're you know you're finally networking with all these these big brands and these stores of music and all that stuff and they mm -hmm. um it just helped helped my brand get bigger and finally i started making i, I got a, i got a merch store now on htx clothing shout out to my my partner colin for making the website and and uh now we have Rome shirts, we have Earn History shirts, we have Shut 'Em Up shirts, hoodies, mm -hmm. crop tops, all that stuff, and um, and everything. Everything just started building up from uh, the outsider, and that was that's definitely some of my best work. And right now, I'm working on a on a new on a new EP, and it's definitely going to be like it's still going to be me, but mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot different than what people when it drop people see. I don't. It, there's not an exact date, but definitely sometime or probably around February. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I'm I'm in the process of doing it or working on it. Uh. I'm just I'm just it's just I'm gonna tell people right now that it's gonna be on a total different level when I say when when you think a song is hype, it's gonna be on a different level. Like this this EP is gonna be for the shows. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. So just bringing the energy and people coming out and. Yeah, it's just gonna be a different side of Rome that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah, yeah. So you ready to freestyle? You good? Uh, you really want me to? We can make it happen. You we know gonna, what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna cut. We gonna cut this one off. We gonna get. We gonna take All like right. a little five minute break. Cool. And then we'll 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 get to it. I might I might freestyle too. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs>